let's talk about China and Disney. And this is because I want to get through the. I feel that we yeah. talk about China a lot in these formats, just because there is so much. Um, there is so much room to um, do better there, uh-huh. but we have some other stories too. So let's. I want to talk about this. We also talk about Disney a lot. Yes, we, we talk, talk about, about Disney, Disney a lot. lot. So this, yeah. you know. Disney ambassador, what was this? Disney diplomacy. Disney diplomacy. Yeah. Yep. So what's this? Uh, Disney owned studio Searchlight Searchlight uh-huh. pressured the American magazine film filmmaker to remove a quote from its pri- profile of Chinese director Chloe Zhao's because it was critical of China's authoritarian regime. So, uh-huh. so essentially this is a filmmaker. This is a Chinese filmmaker who has spoken up publicly against her government or uh-huh. the government where she was uh, comes from. Uh-huh. And because of this, she has been pressured um, very, uh, a magazine has been pressured into changing her bio. Uh Is, am I catching this right? This is essentially, or changing her, changing the profile, uh, you know, removing some quotes from the profile that they did of her. Now, Chloe Zhao is of course, really, really, she's a rising star right now, right? Cause she won the, the Oscar for nomad land. Uh, she's, she's heralded as being an absolutely brilliant director. And, the issue here, at least the issue from the the Chinese government's point of view, is that she she's from China. She doesn't live there anymore. She she left China intentionally, um, or at least her well, parents' intention. Yeah. Um, and she was comparing her experience as a child under the Chinese Communist Party to the experience of uh, Native Americans on, I think it was the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota. Okay. And saying that the, essentially there were points of contact between those two experiences. Um, you know, and, and this is something, this is, I feel like, this shouldn't just be a throwaway quote in a profile. This should be something that's like an interview or something like that. Cause I'd really want to see what she was talking about yeah. um, with this. And cause sometimes, you know, people can make offhanded statements or maybe it's not necessarily on offhanded, but they encapsulate a lot of information in a small statement that you really do need to unpack. Well, and then that, that information is open to interpretation by mm-hmm. everybody else. It's open to mistranslation. It's open to mm-hmm. a bunch of different stuff. Uh, but the mm-hmm. quote, uh, I'll just read it here. It says, yeah. it goes back to when I was a teenager in China, mm-hmm. being in a place where there are lies everywhere. You felt like you were never going to be able to get out. A lot of info I received when I was younger was not true, dot, dot, dot. And, of course, this is, I would encourage you to go find the, the full context of the quote. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, that's the quote. Yeah. And and it, this, is, this is interesting because this isn't, you know, what we just talked about, and I think it's really important to make this distinction here when we talk about censorship, because there are two types of censorship. There's there's uh, sort of a priori censorship and a posteriori censorship, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, there's yeah. there's that sort of there's this is the 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 former. Now, she said something in her profile. Disney saw it. They're like, ah, oh, this is probably going to ruffle some feathers. Let's take it out before it even gets out. That well, now it's already out there. Um, but you know what I'm saying, though. Like they were trying to sort of spike it before it even really got yeah. legs. Yeah. The friends situation, that's completely different. They just did it. You know, they probably, they might've been thinking and, and then they decided they didn't care or, or maybe they weren't even aware of some of the issues here, but they were casting Lady Gaga. They were casting BTS. They were cast, casting Justin Bieber. I would imagine the execs at Warner were probably like, yeah, no, we just, these people are famous and they say they like friends. So we want them on here. So it's going to get eyeballs to the show. Oh, right? sure. And then China took it and did what they wanted to do with it, you know, excising different parts of it. And so those are those are two different things. It, One can definitely different. lead to the other. And, you know, it, 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 it raises the question of where is the line between censorship and localization? 
Uh Right. Because a a part of localization is adapting the content for the local market. And if Uh the content includes stuff that the local market finds offensive, Uh technically that's localization. Right. Right. It's not censorship. It's trans creation. If if you choose to look at it through that lens, Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. that lens gets foggy. That lens gets cloudy when the what's being censored has to do with issues um, or at the very least is perceived to be related to issues concerning human rights, concerning oppression, marginalized groups, um, stuff like that. 